Okay. So welcome everybody to our first edition of Being Headstrong, which is a webinar. Uh, it's also an info session and a podcast where we're going to be talking each and every week about the Headstrong program. And the idea here is to educate uh, rural Albertans and uh, you know Albertans in general about some of the significant challenges that we're facing right now when it comes to mental health, particularly in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, I'm really, really excited to have a special uh, group of uh, guests here today. Uh, you know, we've got uh, Connie Jacob and Cynthia, uh, along, with, uh, along with Pamela Morgan. And Pamela is the, uh, the, the executive director of BCO, Baby It's Cold Outside, and holy cow, uh, what a great name for right now, you know. So uh, welcome, Connie, and welcome, Pamela. How are, you, how are you ladies doing today? Great. Thanks, Abe. Doing good. Good, good. good, good. And so, you know, really, um, Headstrong is a program that has been um, actually uh, partially funded by the government of Alberta. And so we want to give uh, our provincial government here in Alberta uh, massive props because, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, I have to just be honest, this pandemic has been uh, maybe even more of a mental health pandemic than a physical health pandemic, because we are aware, absolutely, that people have died. Um, but if you look at the, just the sheer numbers of, of people who have had physical health impacts through this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm going to suggest that the folks who've had mental health impacts is probably even more. And it's not about comparison, uh, but I do think it's an important uh, fact to notice, because We've seen in, in survey after survey, people self-reporting that their level of anxiety has gone up, their level of stress has gone up, their level of depression has gone up. Uh, we've seen more uh, opioid deaths. We've seen more uh, you know, use of uh, drugs and alcohol through this pandemic. And you know, we have to keep our focus on the physical side of this pandemic, uh, but we have to also make sure that we don't forget about the mental health side of this pandemic. So Pamela, why don't you just tell us for a couple of moments a little bit about Headstrong. Tell us about this program and what's the vision behind it. Well, we're really excited to bring this to everyone. And I, this is my team, everyone. So I have a great team uh, to help, uh, help us move forward in this. Um, so what we're going to offer till December 1st is we're going to offer some group coaching and we're going to have real conversations. So this is this is not about being fluffy anymore. This is, we understand the seriousness behind this. We understand that you guys need people to talk to and have those really tough conversations with. So we're taking this very seriously. And I do, I do want to add that uh, our team consists of entrepreneurs. So we know what you're facing. We know what you're up against. And we've, we felt it ourselves, you know, and continue to feel it as we go through this pandemic. So it, uh, the other amazing, um, what I'm super excited about, the other amazing offering is the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And with that, um, you get uh, some great expert coaches to support you as you go through this and navigate through these, uh, this transition. But we also are going to be able to offer you psych psychologists and trauma specialists. So, and this is immediate. Um, to be empathetic to our Alberta Health Services, we get it, you guys, you're, they're exhausted. They're the capacity level, I can't even imagine what that looks like. This does look different. This does feel different. This isn't necessarily a clinical view. This is us sitting in that space with you, working through it and letting you know that we're here fighting with you. That's really powerful, Pamela. Um, not a lot of mental health focuses on people. And you really are people first and heart centered. Even uh, we did another interview and I asked you, you know, how do you want me to introduce you? And you said, I'm just Pamela. And I loved that because, you know, you are a people person first, even yourself. And it really reflects in your heart and your heart in creating this program. Uh, for people. And I love your emphasis on the one. You talk about the one. I wonder if you could mention to listeners here about what you mean by that. Sure. So I'll just um, maybe tell everybody a little bit about myself for people who don't know. I am a country bumpkin. 
So <laughs> I would, I spent, I've spent my life in rural Alberta and I was raised in a farming community. Uh, so anybody who is in rural Alberta knows that we just have a mentality of get her done and hunker down and, and work through things. You know, I don't think that's where we are right now. We need to have those thoughtful conversations. But with the power of one, that really evolved. I didn't have a name for it until uh, a little while ago. That evolved through my country roots of we left the, the door open on the farmhouse. We left keys in the car because if somebody needed help, that was really, really important and a little bit different than when I moved into a town atmosphere where I was told I needed to lock my door. I didn't understand why I would do that because if somebody needed me or, or needed to use a telephone. So with the power of one, um, it really comes back to just being that one person and that one person taking that one action creates that one change and it creates an incredible large ripple effect. And in my conversation earlier uh, today with Connie, I'd shared that we're all connected. Whether we want to be or not, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> we're all connected and we're all in this, this gig together. So when we realize that and the power that we have behind that in supporting each other, it isn't about the masses. The masses will come. The help will come to the masses, but it has to start with one of us. And I take that responsibility very seriously, especially in my community that I love very dearly, that's always first of mind every morning when I get up, that I want to know what can I do today to make today a better day for everyone. And, and that's the power of one. We all have the power. So good. So this program, Headstrong, uh, has been created um, as a direct response uh, to the impact of COVID. 19 on the many, many, many small to medium sized enterprises in, uh, in rural Alberta. And uh, the Headstrong program is funded in part, uh, we've already mentioned this, by the government of Alberta. And we're really about supporting the mental and emotional health and well being of rural Albertans who are in small to medium sized businesses uh, or nonprofits. And so, you know, I, I want to, so, so you, you've said that uh, there's going to be some group coaching. Uh, workshops where we're going to focus on, uh, you know, sort of broadly speaking, mental health and uh, and some one-on-one -on -one coaching, some psychological services. So that's great. We'll talk a little bit more in detail. But what do you feel, Pamela, are some of the unique challenges facing small businesses, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, nonprofits in the middle of of this pandemic? What what are you noticing? Well, we're just people are exhausted, Abe. You know, and I think that's just the common feeling, exhausted, exhausted of the uncertainty. You know, we got through 2020, we, we thought maybe there's light at the end of the tunnel. And then we went into, you know, another series of a lockdown as such. And so it's created, like everybody feels like there's uncertainty. I, don't, I feel re repetitive, I apologize, but it is this uncertainty. So with that, um, our entrepreneurs, they're consumed. They're, they're consumed uh, financial aspect, worrying about money. They're worrying about keeping people employed. They're the last at the table to worry about themselves. And that's where that concern comes in for me is that if our entrepreneurs are okay, which are like the, the, the greatest amount of our services offered are from in Alberta are from our entrepreneurs. I don't have a percentage. I'm not that I'm not a data person, but um, with that, when we put, take care of our entrepreneurs, we take care of their families and we take care of their employees and then their employees can take care of their families. So it just trickles down. Like it just makes absolute sense to help these folks as they're going through trying to navigate something we've never gone through. Right. Uh, yes never gone through and then also like you said you know when you think of of anyone who is rural like you're right get her done like we just suck it up we do it we stop talking to me about your emotion like there's a there's work to be done and i'm wondering you know when we think about the people that you know is on your heart to reach um who this program is for what would you say to that entrepreneur that might be suffering in silence right now, that one that, 
you know, just push it down, just keep going. But maybe that exhaustion is starting to take play and, and root and is getting a little too much. What would you say to that one? Don't give up. It, it's just that simple. Like, I am here to fight for you. I have a great team. We are here to fight for you. And please do not give up. And um, I just, I wanna add to this because I asked for some inspiration this morning and I received that inspiration through a song and the song is actually called Don't Give Up. I'm, I apologize, I don't remember the name of the artist, but if you, you know, find- Are you gonna sing it for us? Can you sing no, it No, I will us? not. No, no. <laughs> no. I want everybody to still like me, Abe. Yes, yeah. oh, so you okay. will not be singing today. <laughs> yeah, sure. My husband would say, no, we don't want her to do that. Oh. Uh, but with that song, it really, it says what's in my heart personally, and I know the heart of my team that's, that's joining me today, that we are here and don't give up. Don't make a final decision. Pick up the phone, email us. We were going to be available for you. I promise you. That is my commitment to you today. And I, I promised my team I wasn't going to cry, but I don't know if I'm going to get through it without <laughs> doing that because I want you to know that you matter and you have such great value and we can do this together. Nobody's expecting you to do it by yourself. Nobody. And know that strength is being connected. So whether you're out on a combine or you're in work in the cattle or you're a shopkeeper and you're in a bakery or whatever that case may be, please know this is an amazing program that has been brought in here to you to take care of all of us. So good, Pamela. So we've got uh, coming up, uh, starting in, in uh, looks like early in March, um, you know, uh, a, a three session group coaching workshop called uh, Real Talk for Rural Alberta. Uh, where we're going to be talking about stigma, uh, substance abuse, suicide, and uh, and then in uh, in uh, in the same month, March, we're going to be doing one called managing your stress and your business, and uh, we're going to be looking at you know how to deal with stress and what does it take to not only deal with your stress but also keep your business running at the same time. So tell us a little bit about these um, these group coaching workshops. I mean, maybe not so much the detail because. You know, you can go, folks, to headstrongprogram.com. All the details are there. Uh, but what's what's sort of the, the mindset, the heart behind these? You know, who's going to be facilitating them? What's the what 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 sort of what, what's going to happen in these in these workshops? So, with the workshops, we have um, you, Abe, as one of our facilitators, and the lovely right. company is the other. Um, I like to surround myself with really smart people, and that's I, I make a living of doing that. So that's what I've done here, and they're going to bring a wealth of wisdom um, to you and and that support. Uh, and we're just going to have real conversations. So I invite you know you can be interactive in this. Um, we want we want people to know that you're not alone at the, at the end of the day, right? There's a collective force here and that, that we're gonna get through this together. And I don't know, Abe, if I need to turn that back to you to maybe deep dive a little bit more into what that's gonna look like. Well, I think, you know, interesting, we both got a little help from one of our favorite people, uh, Jamie Hall, uh, you know, who, uh, you know, is uh, just such a great, guy, as we all know, and he was uh, mentioning here on Facebook that um, Alberta, again, has the highest rate of entrepreneurship. So he's with the Okotoks Chamber of Commerce, uh, confirming what we've seen for the last five years. Entrepreneurship in Alberta shows that just under 20% of Albertans, just under 20% aged 18 to 64 are involved in starting a business. That is a crazy number, right? Like 20% of 18 to 16, uh, 64 year olds. And so, you know, what I guess I know in our workshops, you know, I'm a business coach, but also a mental health specialist and Connie as well. And so what we're trying to do is, is really number one, say this, that if, if you're struggling, if you're stressed, if you're tired, if you're exhausted, if you're a little depressed, you're not alone, right? You're not weird. You're not broken, right? You don't need to be fixed. You are 100% normal. And uh, you know, you 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 probably like me when I've gone through times like that, 
just need to come into a group and get a little bit of support, get a, get a little bit of insight. You know, maybe talk, maybe not. It's up to you. Uh, it's not going to necessarily be uh, a, a, a sort of not at all going to be group therapy. But but in the group, sometimes what can happen is even as other people are sharing their story, you can find some answers for you. And uh, you know, there is a crisis right now. I think we have to just be be blunt about it, right? There's a there's a mental health crisis in in rural uh, communities pretty much across North America, but we're here in Alberta, uh, and so it, it's here. And uh, and what we're talking about is 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 higher rates of of, of suicide, uh, higher rates of of addiction. Uh, we're talking about substance abuse, and um, and then there unfortunately is also a little bit of stigma attached because you know everybody knows each other's business, right? In the smaller communities, in the big city, you can hide a little bit. It's harder to hide when everybody knows your name, uh, you know, when you go, go to a, a local store uh, or go pick up a coffee. And, and what we're trying to say is we, we've got to take away the stigma because there is no shame. And uh, when we get into groups and talk about this, uh, I think that's where the power is. And I mean, you know, for, for the men out there uh, who, who may be struggling, I'll tell you, there, there's a, a problem with men right now. Uh, in, in, around suicide, you know, the, the suicide rates among men are three to four times that of women. And, and so why is it, you know, that a man, you know, in the prime of their life, maybe 45, maybe 50 would, would end their own life at such incredibly high rates? Well, you know, we need safe places. We need support. We need to stop trying to do it alone. And uh, we just want to encourage you to check it out. Just go to headstrongprogram.com because, hey, you can show up for the first session. You don't like it. You don't have to come back. But at least, you know, you're not uh, crossing an option off the list before you've even tried it out, you know. So I, I know that was a bit of a rant and my apologies for that. But, you know, we care deeply for people. Uh, you know, that's why we do this. We really want to ensure that you've got the tools because no, no one knows when this pandemic is going to end. We don't know how that's going to look. Uh, economically, people are devastated in smaller communities. Uh, but what we need to do is get through this together, right? That's what we need to do. That's exactly it, Abe, right there. And, you know, there's, there's an opportunity you've created here, Pamela, for people to do something a little different. And that's not hide. That's come out of the house, come out of whatever's going on and, and get some help. The, the truth is, is that business, you know, we can keep trying, we can keep striving, but our stress response will make it so that we don't succeed. It will feel like a harder push. And eventually, especially as we get older, you know, our bodies, they keep the score of trauma and our bodies shut down uh, in, in order to get our attention. And so maybe there's an entrepreneur out there or a business owner where you're just pushing through and, and trying this to, to do this on your own. And it really isn't helpful. And so this program can come alongside help you with the stress response, help you push through some of these mental health um, struggles that, like Abe said, are completely normal. I mean, we don't judge anyone with a cast on their leg. Um, we would never say, you know, just suck it up and keep going. You've broken your leg. Oh, well, get on the combine. Like, no, we would never do that. And I think we're finally coming to the place in our culture where mentally we are having the same response of actually we need to take care of this and this is the time. Um, Pamela, I'd love for you to, you know, if you have anything else that we haven't mentioned about the program, um, is there anything that we've missed? I, I think uh, the only ad that I would have, Connie, is, you know, if, if you're not the entrepreneur and you have, it's your partner, it's your partner, your spouse, your employer, reach out to us, you know, and, and be part of these group sessions. And education is so important and connection is equally important. And, and the ability that we can bring both of those things to the table for the community as a whole, you know, um, it is so important. So just, just know that you don't have to be the entrepreneur. If you're the, the partner, we want to we want to be here for you to help you help them navigate through this, you know, and, and triage and team up and, and support, um, support what we're going through. You know, when we entered this pandemic, 
for Alberta, we were already brought to our knees, let's be honest. And we were already in a, a serious downturn. So the pandemic for sure didn't help anybody, but for Alberta, this has um, really stifled us. So in true Alberta fashion, let's rise up like we do and, and get this done, you know, and, and to echo what Ava said, let's change the stigma I have made a personal commitment um, in my community and in my household that I am going to be part of that change in 2021 in changing uh, the stigma on, on mental health. Like this has got to stop. Love that, Pamela. We, we are so grateful for, you know, your passion and your heart with this. And, uh, you know, of course, um, you know, the, 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 the support of our, our province, you know, province of Alberta. We just think that's awesome, uh, you know, that, that our, our government says, hey, we care about people in this way. No government's perfect for sure, but, but you know, we, we do need help to get through this. And, uh, you know, I love what you said, Pamela, the only way we're going to get through this is together. And so folks, please do go to headstrongprogram.com. Uh, we're going to be running, you know, this podcast, this sort of live uh, you know, show or whatever you want to call it uh, every two weeks. And the idea is just to build awareness, to bring on different guests that we can interview and talk mental health in rural Alberta. And so, you know, kindly share this and let people know uh, what's happening because, you know, maybe these services don't help you. That's okay. But, but every one of us knows someone who's impacted. And so, you know, it's um, maybe something that you could offer for them and uh, and maybe you could even offer to go with them uh, you know all of these programs are online everything's very safe and and sort of uh, uh, you know set up so that uh, you can have the, the highest level of comfort and so please do folks um, check this out and uh, thank you so much so Connie uh, any final words today oh I'm I'm so excited that this is being offered and again you know you're you're so safe to to join us it's going to be uh just a beautiful space for you and so we look forward to hearing from you if you have ideas if you have mm -hmm. ideas of who needs us like abe said um or if you know of something going on what are you noticing around mental health in your community we would love to hear about it because that really helps us serve well um, but in the meantime just know that there is so much hope to move forward and to not stay where we are. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank Thanks you, here. everyone. We're fighting for you. Don't give up. Absolutely. Thank you.